Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video Editor Studio and today I'm going to share with you the audio transcription tool inside of DaVinci Resolve can help you edit video faster. So if you're ready, let's check it out. All right, so in DaVinci Resolve right now we're on the edit page, we're on DaVinci Resolve Studio version 18.5. The audio transcription is only available since 18.5, so that will not be available with the previous version. Also, this is a studio only feature, meaning that it will not be available for the free version of DaVinci Resolve. With that out of the way, let's see how we can use that to edit faster video. So here you can just go over to your clip in your media pool. Let's say that's a talking head segment that you need to cut out. So for example, here there's a screen recording of a tutorial that I need to edit. I can just right click on it and then here go to audio transcription and select transcribe. It will just generate that transcription and then it will just prompt open that window where you can see your entire video that has been transcribed. You can, if you want, just export that as a text file. If you want to just do the transcription, I've made a video about that. But right now, let's see how we can use that to text edit our video and therefore speeding up our editing process. The first thing that you can do is removing all the silence. So that will not remove all the repetition that you may have done. So already here, as you can see, I'm repeating twice the same sentence because I had a hiccup right here. We can delete that by simply selecting everything and then just hitting delete and it will just cross that thing over and mark it as delete. Another thing is those dots, as you can see, those are silent. You can either delete them as well, or if you want to remove all of them, you can simply go over here and then remove a silent portion. And as you can see, if I select that, it will just cross over all the silent portion and now we're just left with the text. So now if I were to select everything and then click right here to insert, in my timeline, I have all the text part that has been added and the silence that have been deleted. Obviously, as of right now, it is not perfect. As you can see right there, for example, there is a silence that has been removed there as well. And there is nothing yet to fine tune what is the audio level for it to be uh, considered as speech or silence. But I hope that those features will be added in the future. But already, as for now, it's just a great way to just trim a bunch of excess. What I've been personally doing, instead of just selecting everything, I'm just reading through it and just selecting whenever something is right and insert it right away. So then I have a better control over what works, what doesn't. And I personally feel that somehow I end up with a cleaner rough cut in my timeline. One of the reasons why I find that more convenient is that if for whatever reason, then I need to just remove a part of the video that is coming after and I want to place it before, I can simply just put my playhead right here and then just uh, go back a little bit and be like, oh, okay, maybe I forgot that. And that would be better if that was right there. That's something that happened often, for example, in my tutorial. And then I will just click insert and I will just place it right before it. If, for example, you have two similar takes and this seems to be exactly the same in writing and you want to just play them visually, you can always just here keep an eye on your viewer, just go to wherever you want it to start and then hit play for it to start just playing. And you will get the visual both on the writing right here and you will have the real-time playback of the video in your viewer. Another cool functionality, if you want to, for example, export only a certain part of your video, you can just make your selection. And then here you can just click to create sub clip. By clicking that, it will offer you right here to choose a name. So I'm going to go with clip one for now, and I'm just going to create that. And here, as you can see, it has generated a clip from the writing that I've selected right there. The Rinchy Resolve 18.5 is still in beta right now, and this function is still lacking functionality, but it's already a great, great tool to help you shave some time out of your basic rough cut. I personally find it very, very useful. Please let me know in a comment what you think about it, what options DaVinci should add to this tool. Again, thank you very much for watching, and see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates built only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack that contains over 150 elements. Link in the description below or at videoeditorstudio.com.